Welcome to Spirit Stones Creative Crafts. This is Kat. I've got a quick update for you today. I haven't done anything in the form of a video for over a month, but I've been off having little adventures and things. So um, I'm finally home and been getting creative since I've got back. Now, as you can possibly tell from this, I have my stamp making machine. Now, these are the only two things that I have done so far, because I have been busy with polymer clay, which I'll show you in a minute. And these two have taught me a lot, what I want to achieve, what I don't want to achieve. And so, it's a really weird process, and it's actually really quite fascinating that you can make your own rubber stamps in this way. And so I think they kind of come out okay. Um, I know what I want to do next. So they're going to be a lot different to this kind of thing. I want something that when I'm making this kind of thing, I can have a pattern that's mine that can be repeated again and again and again throughout. So that's what I want to achieve. So I definitely don't want to be doing circles with the edges on them and stuff. But these were good for learning anyway. And it is actually really fascinating to see your doodles turn up on... Um, on a rubber stamp but it's quite amazing and the good thing about the rubber stamp more than anything was the fact that we found it for less than half the price which is why we got it when we did because well you can't avoid less than half the price can you so anyway this is uh, something that I did previously show you but they've now had resin put on them and they're ready to wear but the one I really wanted to show you is the guy I've mentioned before my tattooist Dan and um, this is his logo um, and it's uh, 2011 in, Rome, in the Roman numerals and he asked me if I could do him a bracelet and I'm actually really chuffed with how this turned out because I'm absolutely crap at copying anything so um, that's his logo and I can't wait to see him because that means I get my tattoo finished and this is for him and also as part payment for the tattoo I've done these for his two boys as well so he wanted the dragon and the dolphin so that's for him as well and then because I had some resin to use up I just did these it's gonna be a necklace and earrings so there's those and polymer clay oh my god I love this stuff so much so this was actually done a, a while ago um, I really love it and that took a while as I'm sure you can imagine but I've also done this one this is actually for a friend that I need to send it off and get it to her so there's that one and then just little things like this just playing around this was just leftover bits of clay that I felt I wanted to turn into something and then I've been learning the art of caning and um, these were just little leftover bits from the caning I actually did the canes really well I'll show you in a minute so yeah camera doesn't want to pick that up too little so I did this I love these colors and what I really wanted to do was to make the heart and to make the matching earrings to go with it and then the leftovers I just used to make these bits as well so they're kind of funky so this is just basic caning this was just getting a round circle of one colour and covering it in another colour and then rolling it out and cutting it and getting it to match up I'm going to do a tutorial on this anyway um, well this <laughs> this is what I'm going to do the tutorial on is doing crochet hooks crochet hook handles this was fun and I love crocheting probably one of my favourite crafts in the world is to crochet so that's what I shall be doing a tutorial on next I've made a cane ready to go and I've got a purple crochet hook so that's what I shall be doing but these were so much fun and you just make the cane and then you slice it and then you put it on and roll it out so I'm just really grateful for all the tutorials that taught me how to do this and so my contribution then is to do one as well so yeah I'm really grateful I mean these here were just done from my own imagination nothing to do with a tutorial I just I'd, I'd made I wanted to make a burnt orange and ended up making this really rubbish brown and then I realized actually that hey I could do trees and so that's where that idea came from this needs to have another layer to thicken it up really 
that one's nice and thick but so yeah canes that's my latest thing that I'm playing around with it's my birthday next month so I've kind of asked for a pasta machine and a clay gun or a clay extruder as it is otherwise called and then I really get to play because rolling it out is fine with a roller it's not a problem at all don't mind working at it but then you can't get it as thin as you can with a pasta machine and the pasta machine will actually save me a lot of clay and this stuff is not cheap so I think the point is now to start getting these things ready to get out there and sell things start doing some of the craft fairs and stuff I think but I am grateful for all you guys who's taught me how to do all these things and um, we've got a Facebook page now on swapping your crafts so it might be a case of you want a tattoo and you are going to exchange that for jewellery like I did um, it could be the fact that you've got some wool and I've got some wire and we want to exchange that. So um, I've just sent off my first thing for exchange and um, hopefully click on the link down below and hopefully you can get exchanged on things as well. Either exchange your craft or exchange your craft items as well. So um, thanks for watching. Like I said this is just a short one and watch out for the next one because it's going to be a tutorial on how to do your crochet hook successfully. Thank you very much guys, have a good day and I'll see you next time, bye.